present actual footage of the Blade Runner show. Blade Runner here. Don't you just hate when you go to the free clinic to get like tested for VD and stuff, and the person behind the counter um, is your mom, and you're like, "Hey, <laughs> this is an AutoZone Blade Runner." Hey, this is Joe Perry from Aerosmith with the Blade Runner show. Was it sad for you by the time you finally got around to working with Willie Nelson that you guys had already quit doing drugs and smoky pot and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we would have got that far. I don't think we, you know. Blade Runner Radio. Oh, man. Started my day off pretty rough today. I uh, It's kind of my fault, though. Um, I started up my riding lawnmower at about 8.30 this morning. <laughs> and my neighbor... Um, who lives in the apartment below me, is like, hey, what are you doing up there? And I'm like, what? Blade Runner Radio. Hi, Rockers, this is Billy Idol. What's the nastiest thing you ever did while wearing your leather pants? <laughs> God, you'd, I'd have to really think about that. <laughs> it's got to be so many. <laughs> Blade Runner Radio. I was thinking about this last night. You know what would be an awesome gift to give a woman? You know those pens when you go into the store and they check your $20 bills with them to find out if your your $20 bills are real or fake? It would be cool if they could come out with a pen that you could use to tell if a woman's breasts were real or fake. And you could give that pen to a woman as a gift because they're the only ones that care. They're the only ones that ever say that. You never hear a guy going, oh, yeah, but those are fake. (laughs) You never hear a guy say that. If we had a pen, that would be a beautiful gift to give a woman. And it's always the women that don't have breasts that usually say that. You know that? It's like, oh, well, yeah, you know, well, those aren't real. Well, you know, neither was Starsky and Hutch, but I was glued to that pair when they were out, you know? Blade Runner Radio. Hi, I'm Gene Simmons, and you're not. Have you ever bought a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken and tried to put the chicken back together? (laughs) <laughs> no, but it's a good idea. Blade Runner Radio. Stark footage of Blade Runner Radio. We've all seen these really stupid warning labels on different products like uh, cereal boxes, open other end of box. And on soup cans, open other end of can. Oh, okay. Uh, do not use hair dryer in the shower. And you know what I'm blown away by? The way men think, I'm surprised that they don't have warning labels on every product ever invented for men. A little sticker down there in the corner, it says, men, don't rub this product on your penis. Do not hold this product near your penis. Do not insert penis in this product. Do not insert this product in penis. Do not make penis-like gestures while holding this product. Do not say, hey y'all, does this look like a penis? While holding this product. Do not replace your penis with this product. Do not use this product while simultaneously doing the helicopter with your penis. Do not use hair dryer on penis while in the shower. And I'm sure there's more, but when I was writing all those down on my penis, that's all that would fit. Blade Runner Radio. Hey, this is Flash, and you're listening to Blade Runner. Do you, do you ever think any of your dead relatives watch you masturbate? Um, every, every so often. <laughs> that thought just crossed my mind, I gotta admit. Blade Runner Radio. Did you guys see this on the news last week? They, uh, uh, down in Texas, a funeral home accidentally buried the wrong person. There was a, a, a funeral scheduled for that weekend, so they buried the person, and it turns out they buried the wrong person. They had the grieving family on television that were supposed to be having a funeral, and the funeral home had no body for them. They're like, um, no, we... We buried them earlier in the week. So now they're exhuming the body so this family can have a funeral. Can you imagine that? So now they exhume the body so this other family can have their funeral. And they, as they exhume the body, turns out they accidentally buried Keith Richards. And like a week later, he's like, Hey, mate, you got a cigarette? I'm the Rev from Reverend Horton Heath, also known as Jim. Have you ever tied meat on a string, let a dog swallow it, and then pull it back out again? Wow, no, I, have you been watching too much Jackass, man? Where, where are you getting this stuff? Blade Runner. Blade Runner here. Always the man searching for a bargain. Went down to Dallas this weekend with a lady friend of mine. Went to go see a movie. What about Men in Black? 
Men in Black would be a cool film. So we're walking down. It wasn't Deep Elm. It was in the seedier part of that. I was walking down the street. I was like, oh, cool. Looked up on the marquee. Men in Black. All right, cool. 98 cents. 98 cents a piece. I'm like, man, this is a hell of a deal. We go in, sit down, start watching the movie. I'm like, wait a minute. This isn't Men in Black. So, yeah, you know, sat through about half hour. It turned out to be a gay porno movie. I get outside, look at the marquee, it said Men in Back. I was like, ah! Well, I should have known because the, the last time I went and accidentally saw intercourse with a vampire, I... Blade Runner. That's leveling all sorts of charges at you. Hello, Lemmy from Motorhead here. Uh, Lemmy critics over the years have said a lot of different things about Motorhead. You're right there, yeah, we noticed that. Is there anything that you would like to say about some critics? Yeah, fuck them. And now, the man who put the F.U. in fun. Yeah, yeah, save it for the courtroom. It's the Blade Runner Show. The Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Oh, Chad, Blade is this? Runner. oh this is Eric. What are you doing today? Oh, nothing really. I'm just listening to the cat. I'm just listening to the cat. You know what's really cool to do when you're listening to the cat? What? And grab, like, something to eat and have a little snack. You know what's really good to eat while listening to the cat? What? Hard-boiled egg. Just take a, a couple eggs out of the refrigerator, put it in the microwave, turn it on high for about three minutes. Okay. Get some friends over and put a whole carton in there and do it. Okay. Hi, the cat. Hello. Hello? Are you the one that told Aaron to put the egg in the microwave? No. Why? Do you know Aaron? Uh, Aaron is my son. Uh-oh. Did he do it? Yes, he did it. <laughs> so when does he want to come clean my microwave? <sighs> I'll come over tomorrow and clean it. Oh, you are the one that told him. Well, I wasn't going to say that at first. I didn't want to get hollered at, too. Did Aaron get in trouble? Well, not yet, but you ought to smell my dad gum house. The Blade Runner. <laughs> Hey, this is Tom Morello from Rage Against the Machine, and you are listening to the Blade Runner Show. When you're out on tour away from family and friends and you have all these thousands of groupies throwing themselves at the band, do you still have time to watch your cholesterol? <laughs> you know what? I'm on the Lipitor. I like to take my cholesterol seriously, and I've uh, and I've got a, a, a girlfriend, so I try to keep the try to keep the groupies at bay. BladeRunnerRadio.com. So named for his color and not for his courage or his size. With a Blade Runner here in this Oklahoma heat is going to kill me. Is this just getting that insane now? 100 degrees here, 102 degrees there. If it's going to be this hot, I can't stay. This Oklahoma heat is ripping me up, tearing me up. It's going to kill me. As a matter of fact, over the weekend, I'm out at an amusement park, walking around. got a cooler under one arm, walking around, enjoying the day. This guy with no hair on his head, walking around out there, collapses right in the middle of this amusement park, right? It is so hot, this guy collapses. This big crowd gathers around and stuff. I want to get something cool to put it on him to uh, cool him down just a little bit, so I make my way through the crowd. And everybody was amazed to find that when I cracked an egg and dropped it on his forehead, it actually was so hot, it started to fry. Hi, this is Pat Benatar, and you are rocking and rolling with Blade Runner. What's it like when you're on stage in front of thousands and thousands of people playing and having a great time, and all of a sudden you start PMSing? I don't get that. <laughs> you can ask my husband. I'm always nice. I mean, you know? you know, you're not up there and all of a sudden you, you, you lean over and do and go, yeah, if it wasn't for you men, the whole rib Adam and Eve thing, I could kill you and throw them down on the ground and start beating the hell up. I don't need PMS to do that. Trust me on that one. The Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Howdy, Rowdy. Blade Runner. Rocky Rollin' speeding and losing. Control in the afternoon, cruising in the month after June, looking for some cooking and cranking things I should be spanking. You see, if it were up to me where I left alone, in complete serenity, this box I call home, rarely a loss for words. Sometimes I get stuck when I do the name game. I always use Chuck. Listen to my show, three to seven, no way to miss it. But if you do, I'll quit. Watch where you walk, because I might be pissing, but don't quote me on that, because I ain't saying The Blade Runner on Rock 100.5, The Cat. Dictionaries will not be provided. Attention housewives, have you tried the new improved Blade Runner show? The new improved Blade Runner show now has 75% of the same ingredients as the original, guaranteed to make your kitchen clean. Just look what it does to your new linoleum floor. And now you can use the new improved Blade Runner show to eliminate annoying pet odors. And ladies, put the new improved Blade Runner show in your bathroom and it does the work for you. I love my new improved Blade Runner show. It's Nito. Oklahoma's problem child. Any problems, Captain? The Blade Runner. The Blade Runner. The Blade Runner. Blade Runner Radio. Mike McCready, Pearl Jam. What is your favorite flavor of jam? 
<laughs> what is this from? Mine, I like a strawberry jam, but I will take grapes. We present actual footage of the Blade Runner show. Have you have you seen the police car down in Moore? They've got such a cool idea. I think this is I think this is something they should do nationwide. I don't know if it is, and but the Moore police have got it going on. They got a black Z28. It says on there seized from a drug dealer. So it was one of those cars. That uh, it, it uh, what they did was they they d- during a drug bust obviously they seized this Camaro and then used it. They got cop lights on it and cop suspension and cop transmission and cop dashboard and cop lighter and all that stuff and and then they actually use it now, which I think is a really cool idea. The only part of it that sucks is it you know used to be my car. Blade Run. What's up? This is Scott Stapp. You're listening to the Blade Runner. Years from now, when you uh, rejoin the uh, former original members of Creed on stage in a weepy reunion moment, will it <laughs> will it be for A, a worldwide charity event, B, a rock and roll induction ceremony, or C, a drunk birthday party in a small motorcycle bar in Florida? A drunk birthday party in a small motorcycle bar in Florida. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like better aspirations, if you ask me. I don't want to set the bar too high. Politically correct? He can't even spell it. Blade Runner on the cat. I'm the Blade Runner. There are a lot of lovely things that go very well together, like peanut butter and chocolate, Hooters Girls and Victoria's Secret, oil wrestling and beer. And there's other things that don't quite go so well together. And one thing that comes immediate to top of mind is hydraulics in your car and epilepsy in your driver. Because I'm just thinking, if you're at a stoplight one day and you go to hit the hydraulic switch and a little episode of epilepsy kicks in, that's probably not going to be a good thing. Please do not feed the Blade Runner. What's up? This is Jack Russell of Great White, rocking with Blade Runner Radio. Great White, White Lion, White Snake, did you guys ever get your luggage mixed up at the airport? <laughs> no. That's a good question. Coming up next on Blade Runner Radio, it's Laverne and Shirley. Sexually explicit photos of Lenny and Squiggy turn out to be verifiably authentic. And Shirley comes home early from work to find Carmine has slipped Laverne the little big ragu. Guest stars Gavin McLeod and Ted Nugent. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Everything. What are you doing? Man, there's a wreck on uh, 23rd, right before Meridian. The cops just got there. Four car pile up. Really? How'd you start that whole deal? I, I honked the horn. <laughs> were, were, were you drinking? Yeah. I see. <laughs> are you drinking now? Are you drinking now? Not yet. All right. I'm fixing to sit in the corner and... Get some. <laughs> were, there, were there any hot chicks in the accident? I, I couldn't tell you. Because I would I'd suggest going back and see if you can get their phone number and tell them that you're a witness. <laughs> I saw the whole thing happen. <laughs> can I get your phone number? I'll, I'll witness. I'll witness. I will witness this. Man, I don't like being by cop. I've been black beer around you more than you like being around them. Oh, yeah. That's for damn sure. And like, they like feeling me up, feeling me up. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> you hear her running? <laughs> you got a cat? No, I got a dog. Oh. I got a dog. I got a dog. I got a dog. The cat. Hey, you're listening to the Blade Runner. This is Nikki Six from Motley Crue, so crank it up. The uh, Todd McFarlane action figures for the Motley Crue Shout at the Devil. Um, did you look at the dimensions of your penis? And if you did, did you think that he did you justice? Um, you can't see that. Mine, mine. If you need, to, if anybody needs information on what mine's like, I'm kind of like built like a tuna can. 
I can like play hell with the sides, but I can't get too deep. <laughs> I like wear that out like sandpaper. <laughs> All right, I'm glad I asked about that. Yikes. Um, Present the worst of Blade Runner. The worst of Blade Runner. Rocket Under Point 5, the cat with the Blade Runner. Now, most of you know, I think, that uh, that I like animals, and I just got a new puppy uh, last week, and uh, this whole entire week, I've been feeding him, but it's just been a miserable experience. It's just, I don't know what the problem has been, but he's kept biting my nipples, so I've switched him now to puppy food, and that seems to be... Oh, that's that's working out a lot better. Hey everybody, what's up? This is Rob Halford, the Metal God from Judas Priest, and you're listening to Blade Runner. Let me ask you this, Rob, with all the black leather you guys have, yeah. with the stud chains, the Harley motorcycles, yeah. the flames, the smoke pots, the loud rowdy music, what the hell is this Boy Scout haircut you have? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you got, like, shorter hair than I do. What's the deal with this, man? Oh, yeah. I never really was a hair farmer, you see, Blake. So, I bought myself a pair of clippers the other day and just shaved a lot off. Oh, uh, I go. also have a new tattoo on my just above my right ear. Ah. Extremely strange in my last few days. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. This is what happens when you listen to metal too much. Um, wow. You, uh, wow. You, uh, you turn into a crazy person, a sane but crazy person. But uh, I, I just love to keep uh, people... Uh, uh, interested and on their toes and, and uh, what's Halford going to look like this year exactly the big contest you know <laughs> Blade Runner Radio the Mother's Day is coming up uh, this weekend are you excited about that you know Mother's Day has its own traditions much as uh, other holidays do I know as Christmas approaches I look forward to opening the presents when Easter rolls around I, I enjoy finding the Easter eggs and the 4th of July I enjoy lighting fireworks I think my favorite part of Mother's Day is where we get to wrestle her to the ground and take her knife away my drinking ain't hurting nobody but me get off me you son man <laughs> Hi, this is Ozzy Osbourne. Now you've been you've been very famous for taking young guitar players, unknown guitar players, yeah, and yeah. and making right, and and making like uh, legends out of them. Would you, would you be interested in doing that with like a tambourine player? Because that's about the only instrument I can do. You know, I mean, I could come up with, during crazy trains, yeah, just bang away. A tambourine player would be good. Heavy metal tambourine I could, player. I could do like a heavy metal tambourine that, player. But with a, a studded jacket and like you know, you know a studded belt with this. Big heavy metal tambourine. They say it with barbed wire wrapped around it and like yeah, a cat skin. He'd like, like <laughs> rub the barbed wire down his chest. <laughs> From the Cat Archives, we present actual footage of the Blade Runner show. What is the deal with people driving under 90 in the fast lane? Do you know, do you not know that when you're driving down the highway, I-44, I-40, I-35, that the left-hand lane is for people driving 70 or more that's that's the 70 to 120 mile per hour lane, not the 40, not, not that little minimum sign that you see up there that says 40 miles per hour minimum. That's not what that lane is for. That is not the minimum speed lane. It's the maximum speed lane. If you're driving right now, if you're driving in the left-hand lane and you're not doing at least 80 miles an hour, get over because somebody behind you is in a hurry, damn. Somebody behind you like me is late for work again, all right? Honestly, I shouldn't. I, I apologize to you for, for for yelling just now because you know what? I know I know cat listeners aren't aren't the ones responsible. I know that you're not the ones that are. If you're in the if you're in the left hand lane right now and you're going down the highway, you're at least doing 120 miles an hour, and you've got a damn cat sticker in your back window to prove it. I know that. I apologize to you for for hollering at you just now. It's in, it's those it's the jazz people. It's those damn people that have the license plates that say I heart jazz. What the hell's the number to KTNT? Is that around here somewhere? Yeah, phone work. Here it is. I'll call KTNT. They're, they're the ones responsible for this. Damn. Call them bastards up. Slowing. Damn. 40 mile per hour. 90 mile an hour zone. Yeah, station 97.9. Is this KTNT? Yes, it is. Who's this? This is Eddie. Eddie, this is Blade Runner over at the Cat. How are you? Doing just fine. How are you doing? Good. I need you to do me a favor. What can I do for you? Um, I need you to get on the air when you get a chance in your one of your next breaks. Get on the air and tell your listeners um, to get the hell out of the fast lane to to 
if they're, if they're not going 55, if they're not going 80 miles an hour in fast lane, to get out of the fast lane. Now, what makes you think our listeners are driving slow in the fast lane? You guys play John Tesh, don't you? Yeah, we play John Tesh. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello? Hello? Those jazz bastards. Blade Run. Not to be confused with... <laughs> no confusion. Block 100.5 The Cat. This is Marilyn Manson. If it applies, what is the weirdest thing you've ever stuck in your ass? The weirdest thing I've ever stuck in my ass? You know, I put a piece of uh, celery in my ass once and my drummer ate it. <laughs> I think he was just doing that so I wouldn't hit him in the head anymore. I wish, I, I, I wish, I wish, I wish, I, I would, would wish, I wish, I wish, I wish, I think I'm going to go to the lake this year. I don't have a boat, though. What are you going to do? I bought one of those tubes with, yeah. with the, the wading boots in it. Yeah. And, and then I bought a trolling motor <laughs> and, and a cooler and some nylon cord. I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm going to hook the trolling motor up to the tube with the uh, wading boots in it and pull my cooler behind me and drive around the lake like that. You'll see me. If, yeah. I'm at, if you're out there, you'll see me. All right. <laughs> I'll be looking for you.
Speed Runner Radio. I love my answering machine. I love my answering machine. It keeps the people I know away from me. Back one to play. Hey, Blade Runner. My name is Sandy, and you know what? I really think you are badass. I love you so much, and I love all the shit you talk about on the radio, so don't stop because, yeah, I love you, man. <laughs> Bye. I love my answering machine. I love my answering machine. It talks to my friends for me. Blade, Blade Runner Radio. Drunken CD Review. Hey, Blade Runner, dude. You're a fucking monkey. Anyways, um, so, like, I'm calling to tell you about my CD review. And I'm going to go Metallica S&M right now because I know you all are about Metallica. But I'm going to go with the S&M series because I bought it, like, four times. It got stolen once, but I had to buy it again. Because I'm going to say Hero of the Day on uh, fucking Metallica is money. You listen to their shit and how they have managed to equate fucking Symphony and Metallica. That's money right there, and you know it. We're going to go Metallica Mondays all the time on the cat. We're going to do it 100%, and we're going to love Metallica. I cannot believe it's Terror Beat em. Okay, I love Dimebag Daryl and all, and whatever, you know, guys. In Columbus, Ohio, my brother's going to Ohio State. I love them all. Go Buckeyes. But, um... Bottom line, Metallica, baby, what now? Hero of the Day on the S&M CD. That is fucking original. Who can take the freaking orchestra and mesh them with fucking rock? It's awesome, man. And you got to mention that. You got to talk about that. And I know you can't freaking play my message because I'm fucking drunk. And I want to talk about it this way. But uh, seriously, Symphony of Metallica. It's the way it goes. Bottom line. Catch you later, Blade Runner. Have a good day. Bye. Drunken CD Review. If you're drunk, call the Blade Runner at home, 691-6874, and review your favorite CD. I'm fucking drunk. We do not encourage intoxication, underage consumption, or binge drinking on the OU campus. Please do not drink and drive. The Legendary Cat. This is Philip H. Anselmo from Pantera. Call Blade Runner Radio right now. 623-ALL-ROCK. 623-ALL-ROCK. Hi, the cat. Yeah, can I request a song? Yeah. I want to hear Limp Biscuit, dude. All right. How long is it going to be for you to play it? About an hour. All right, thanks. Okay. You hear it? What? Hey. What? I called the cat. Yeah? I go, I go, uh, yeah, I'd like to request a song. I go, Limp Biscuit, dude. He goes, he goes, all right. She said, hey, I want to give it up for the nookie. Give it up for the nookie. Get my cookie. No, said, okay. Like, all right. Who wants to die first? What was that? Huh? What was that? Uh-huh. Hey. Huh? Anybody else on this line? Hey. Uh, cat. All right, call him. Flash over. Okay. Did you flash back? I want to kill you. What the hell? Who is that? <coughs> Yo, nigga, who is this? Who? I don't know. Hey, let me flash that? over and see if there's somebody there. I'm going to watch you die in your sleep. Who? You. Huh? Blade Runner Radio. If you've enjoyed this program, please let us know by sending your letters and contributions of support to God. Zip code 94025. Rock 100.5. Nomin you. The Cat. The Cat.